Evening, I'm Ian Masters, and I'm speaking with author, filmmaker, journalist, and explorer Robert Young Pelton. He's had direct contact with the world's most infamous jihadi, rebel, and insurgent groups. That experience formed part of the basis of his books, License to Kill, Hired Guns in the War on Terror, The World's Most Dangerous Places, and Come Back Alive. He's been advising the top U.S. command in Afghanistan since August of 2008, and he and Eason Jordan, uh, f- the former head of CNN, CNN, formed an independent intelligence information service for Afghanistan called AFPAX, which, according to the New York, uh, New York Times expose, Pentagon contractors misuse as an as- assassination tool. And now following that story, today's New York Times reveals, uh, does a profile of a former spy with an agenda to operate his own private CIA uh, Dewey Claridge, uh, which also uh, uh, talks about the fellow that uh, subverted your uh, efforts, AFPAX, uh, Robert Young Pelton, right? Furlong, Michael D. Furlong, Senior Defense Department, civilian from Information War Command in San Antonio, Texas. So where where do we stand now on, on how much uh, we've learned about uh, these kind of cowboys taking over our intelligence or at least running some parallel operations? There's always been two tracks. There's the official contracting world in which everything is quasi-transparent, uh, and then there's what special operations and peoples do in the background, and that would include the agency and JSOC and people like that. And that's the covert side of things. But um, this is unusual. This story with Dewey and uh, Michael Furlong, et cetera, et cetera, it was an attempt to inject a covert activity into a open source atmospheric program and uh, you can't mix the two worlds it's like a third rail in a subway because you're essentially working in the open with locals to gather information and publishing it uh, but there's other people running around covertly targeting people for uh, predator programs so it just didn't work and it was illegal well but specifically you would find out information about who the local Taliban are, and more importantly, what they think. And that's what McChrystal and others wanted to know. Uh, they wanted to know uh, the, who these people are that, that are fighting them in order, uh, I don't necessarily think in order to kill them more effectively, but in order to figure out a way to get out of this mess. Am I correct well, on that? Specific, yeah, well, specifically, there was no lethal interest or activity because we all understood, and I'm talking about General McCarran and General McChrystal, that, that we're leaving Afghanistan. It's not our goal to kill everybody there. It's to actually create a workable government and actually integrate a lot of the insurgent elements into the official government. So why do you bother killing people when you're just going to have a, a dumber, sort of less capable person taking his place and so on and so forth? So our direct orders were to basically help the U.S. military understand who was who, what was what, and we actually introduced people to the military. You know, we had one-star general sitting down with the Taliban talking about things. Uh, just to keep the troops safer and to make our uh, soldiers smarter. But Dewey Claridge and Furlong uh, decided to use this information that you were providing the, uh, the, the top command with to target these uh, Taliban people for assassination. Correct. And, and, you know, Dewey's people approached our people and pitched their wares, and we said point blank, no, we can't work with you. You're spies. You're, you're operating under false pretenses, and you're going to get people killed, not just bad people, but good people which is exactly what happened. So we stepped away from that, and as we saw, you know, the funds that were intended for us slip away, we saw uh, Dewey's people being funded more and more, and we also saw the backlash of what happens when you get people killed because you're using things like doctors and whatever to target Taliban, and the Taliban turn around and kill those people. 